Something special, I cannot say that I only saw Ale as my son. I always used to bring him to the baseball field. He was like five years old. That's when he started playing t-ball. That's when I started bringing him to the park. He's seven years old. That's when he started pitching. He used to play shortstop and pitch in, uh, in high school. They used to play in the, back, in the backyard all the time. Broken window like always. He was in high school throughout his senior year. And he said that I would like to see if I can be you know, a baseball player. And we gave him the opportunity to do it. And we brought him to Dominican Republic. And we decided to bring him to his grandmother and the family, and so he practiced over there and trained over there, and that's when he was looked up as a baseball player. And was that hard to like let him go, you know, over there um, and be so it's, young? It's and... hard, but we do have a strong foundation in the Dominican Republic, and we want him to succeed in his dream. I wasn't going to stop him for going to try. Did you visit him then? Oh, yes, many times. First year, I traveled like seven times to see him. <laughs> the Dominican Republic. Then when the opportunity came for him to play professional baseball, what was that like? He was very, very excited. And it's something like you cannot explain it. I mean, still cannot, I still have him kick me that he's playing baseball because I always see him playing. What do you say to him to encourage him or to give him good advice? Uh, I say just, it, it just again, just, you know, Keep enjoying yourself, that's what he likes. He throws fast and he throws hard. Have you ever um, stepped in the batter's box again? No, him? I'm just a fan.